Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at firewall filters. Specifically within firewall filters, I'm going to show you how to create a basic firewall filter. And this is Juniper Firewall Filter Lab Number 1. So if this network topology looks familiar, this is the same network topology that we used for BGP Lab 1. And so what we're going to do to prove the concept of a firewall filter we're going to use the same network topology and if you haven't seen that video I highly suggest that you watch it it's very informative and also I'll just go ahead and run through the network topology real fast and then we'll go ahead and jump right into the firewall filter lab so we have three routers router 1, router 2, and router 3 they are connected together these are all logical systems on one physical Juniper router and they are connected together using logical tunnels. All these routers have logical tunnels LT120 and then for instance the connection between R1 and R2 is LT120.12 and then R2's connection to router 1 is the dot .21 router 2's connection to router 3 is the 23 and Router 3's connection to router 2 is logical tunnel dash 120.32 or unit 32. Router 1 has a loopback 0.1 with two subnets on it, the 1 network and the 11 network, and router 3 has a loopback 0.3 interface with the 3 network and the 33 network on it. Again, when you are using logical systems and connecting them via logical tunnels, we have we cannot have just the loopback 0.0, .0 on all of the routers. Each router has to have a different loopback. And that's why we have loopback 0 0.1 on R1 and loopback 0 0.3 to represent router 3's loopback. Router 1 is in autonomous system 100, router 2 is in autonomous system 200, and router 3 is in autonomous system 300. For the purpose of this lab, autonomous systems and BGP is not the case that we're trying to prove. What I'm going to show you is how to configure a basic firewall filter, how a basic firewall filter works, and we're going to use some show commands to verify the operation of the firewall filter, and also we're going to use a trace option within BGP on R2 and show you a couple things using the trace option once we apply the firewall filter to router 3. So router 3 is where we're going to be doing the most or the majority of our configuration. It's going to have the firewall filter applied to its logical tunnel interface inbound. So that is where we're going to place the firewall filter. And I should start off just giving you a background on a firewall filter and what it does. And its purpose is to control packets going through a router's interface in either the inbound or outbound direction. So if this sounds familiar and you are familiar with the Cisco IOS, a firewall filter closely represents an access control list that you configure on a Cisco router or switch our firewall, our device. You can also do more things with firewall filters, but that is what I'm going to prove to you in this lab. You can also use firewall filters as a counter, and when it's used as a counter, it can be used to count specific packets, and that can be very helpful when you're trying to troubleshoot connectivity